Okay, now let this be a lesson to you. Don't do like I did. I messed around for two days. I didn't have any volume on my projector. But now look, my projector's looking good. It's got sound. I was on the verge of buying a new projector, throwing out my old one. Don't ever make that mistake. Let me draw your attention to two things. As the gentleman said on the last video, you want to check your settings. Go to your settings on your Roco box or your Android box, and you want to go in the settings to other and more until you get to where it says sound. And a lot of times on the Roco box, it'll show three lines for sound, but you got to double click where it says volume and that is going to reveal another area. Sometimes that accidentally gets pushed all the way down, but you want to pull it all the way up. Now I did that and I still wasn't getting any volume. So guess what the Cobra was? I'm going to show you. All right now, what happens is, you know on your projector on the back, you're going to end up putting one of these cords in the back. That's the one hole, but there's two holes. I made the mistake of thinking that the second hole was for volume. Never do that. You're going to notice that when you put this cord in, the one hole, that one hole is all you need. That was the culprit the whole time. Once you got that one cord in, and it has a couple of these, in, it's got one in on one end and two in on the other, you want to make sure you put your speakers to the second hole that's connected. Forget about the hole that's in the projector, the second hole that's in the projector, ignore that. I think it says something like S-H-I-C. Forget that. Only thing you want is the AUX. You're going to put your visual in the AUX, but here's the clincher, the catch-all, the turning point. You're also going to put your volume in the AUX. So your visual, audio, and visual both goes in the same hole, but with an adapter that goes from one to two. Get rid of that third. That's it. That's all you got to do. I'm back in business.